Tax time is certainly not a fun time, but it turns out that many of us aren't dependent on getting money back in a refund. In fact, in a new H&R Block survey, nearly half of American taxpayers say they're somewhat or very dependent on receiving a tax refund from the IRS. The survey also found that if a tax refund was delayed, the biggest concern for 25% of Americans would be not having enough money to pay necessities. Well, the biggest concern is that the average tax refund is about $2,700. So for most Americans, not having that $2,700 is a big deal. It could be the difference between paying your rent or not paying your rent, uh, paying certain bills off or not paying certain bills off. It's just the largest financial transaction most Americans have all year. And while forgetting to sign your return is one of the biggest mistakes that leads to a delay, experts say other things on your return can also trigger a delay. So a tax refund could be delayed because one of two credits exists on the return. Those two credits are the earned income tax credit and the additional child tax credit. If one of those two credits is on the return, the IRS could hold your refund up until late February. Uh, those credits usually result having dependents on the return and there's been a lot of fraud around the dependents. So the IRS is holding onto those refunds to make sure those tax refunds are accurate. And if you're concerned about a delay in your tax refund and how it will affect your household finances, there are some options you can take advantage of. Uh, so a taxpayer can come into H&R Block, have their tax return prepared, and apply for a refund advance. So a refund advance is a no interest, no fee loan. It's offered through H&R uh, Block, uh, Bank of the Internet sponsors the loan, and it's up to $3,000. So if you apply for it with your tax return and you're approved, you can have three, up to $3,000 that day. Aside from refund delays, taxpayers are also worried about the new changes in the tax law and how they're impacted as they prepare to file their 2017 tax returns. So for 2017, most of those changes don't even come into effect. They come into play for 2018 moving forward. So when people come in and then they're filing their 2017 tax returns, most of everything won't have changed from last year. Starting 2018 and going forward, uh, you need to really start planning for your tax refund. So adjusting the withholding uh, through your employer, talking to your tax pro about it, you know, if you own a certain business, making sure you allocate your expenses correctly. But it's really important to look at your W-4 and, and check the withholding allowances that your job is, is taking out. So if things are tight this tax season, check out your refund advance options. So for refund advance, you can go to hrblock.com slash refund advance. For any of the other tax related questions, you can call an H&R Block tax office and set up an appointment. There's no fee to come in and sit down with a tax pro and just ask questions. And remember, the deadline to file your federal tax returns this year is April 17th. Bringing you the best of California, I'm David Wiley for California Life.